We find ourselves approaching and create the approaching spiritually enriching month of Ramazan. We have three ashwas in Ramazan: Rahmat, Maghfirat, Nijat, and Jannah. So let's recite the first ashwas dua, and then we will continue the first transmission. Ya Hayyu Ya Kayyum, bi rahmatika astaghis. O our living, the everlasting, I seek your help through your mercy. Now we will start our uh, transmission with the. Recitation of Holy Quran. Now I would like to call. Now I would like to call Mahnur Ake from B2 for Surah Al Maal. It's about feeding the soul with the mercy of Allah. 
Now let's call Abdul Rahim from B4 for Quranic verses. Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Abdul Rahim and I'm from Pranipur. Today I'm reciting Quranic verse. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Falamma atahum min fadlihi bakhilu bi Bakhilu bi wada wallahu Then when he gave off his bounty, they became Nawali, refused to pay Sakka, Zakat or voluntary charity. They turned ours. Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Thank you, Abdul Rahim. Now we are going to invite the students for calligraphy. The first one is Mukaddas from P6, Labika from P4, P5, and Ali Mehra from P3. Have a seat. And the other is Mukaddas. Calligraphy content. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Abhi mera aaj hai. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay. Thank you. Now. Now let's introduce our learners for quiz round. He is Shafi from P6. Salam alaikum wa salam. She is Ananta from P4. P6, sorry, P6. Assalamu alaikum assalam. And here is Abdullah Darwish from P6. Assalamu alaikum. So are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. So should we start? Yes. Okay. So let's start from the name of Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So let's start from you, Shafi. First question is, what is the name of the treaty that the last prophet signed with the people of Medina ensuring peace and unity? The treaty of Medina. Very nice. Who was the last prophet companion who was known as for honesty and integrity? Hajjat Ubeda ibn al Alhamdulillah. What is the name of the incident in which the last prophet migrated from Makkah to Madina? Hijra. Hijra. Very good. Who was the last prophet companion who was known as the father of the poor? Hajjat Abu Bakr. Very good. Now, come to the second one. Should I start? Yes. Okay. What is the name of the battle in which the last prophet was victorious against the Quraysh army? Battle of Badr. Battle of Badr. Correct. Who was the last prophet companion who was known as the Loin of Allah? Hazrat Ali ibn Abi Talib Very good. What is the name of the last prophet companion who was known for his humility and modesty? Hazrat Usman ibn Afan Very good. Who was the last prophet companion who was known as trustworthy? Hazrat Abu Bakr Very good. Now, last not the least, during those caliphate, did the battle of Yarmouk take place? Hazrat Umar. Hazrat Umar. Who was the caliph when Jerusalem was conquered? Hazrat Umar. Hazrat Umar. Now come to Abdullah. Are you ready? Okay. What is the name of the hill in Medina where the last prophet built a mosque? Kaaba. Who was the first caliph after the death of the last prophet? Very nice. Which caliph is known as for compiling the Quran in a single book? Very good. Alhamdulillah. We are done with the quiz round. Now move forward to the next round and we are going to call Hamda Mustafa from B4 for Hadith. My name is Hamza and I am from grade 4. Today my topic is concealing the faults of others. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Man sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Man 
pray for the patient's recovery and well-being. Number two, offer positive words. Offer words of encouragement and hope. Our number three, a respectful visit. Keep the visit brief if the patient's feeling tired. By following these signals of visiting the sick, Muslims can express compassion. Muslims can com express compassion, strengthen their faith, and and and. And get Allah's blessings. Thank you, everyone. I hope you all still learn something new. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Thank you, Abdullah. Before going to next learner, I have to share one thing from Jamadun Tarmizi. There is a saying in Jamadun Tarmizi During the night of Ramadan, those who worship during the night of Ramadan, Allah will build a house in paradise. Now, we are going to start our red round. So, are you learners ready? Yes. Okay. So, let's start. The number one is in dash, Ryan for following habit. Gain control of Damascus, concrete Persia, established state finance system. Anybody? Hazrat Umar? Hazrat Umar, yes, correct answer. Now, the second one is, Dash was known as the trustworthy caliph of the Prophet Wasallam, father of what? Who is first? Yes. Hazrat Abu Bakr. yes, correct. Now, third. During Hazrat Usman, Usman Caliph, Muslims Navy established control over Caliban Beach, Mediterranean Beach, Red Sea. Yeah, Mediterranean Beach. Mediterranean Beach. Shafi, Mediterranean Beach. Is it true? Are you guys agree with him? Okay, yes. The answer is Mediterranean Beach. Very nice. Is that Philip Head? Now Before I'm calling the new, next participant, I have to share one hadith from Jamad al Tarmizi. Whoever worshiped during the night of Ramadan, a house is built for them in Jannah. Jazakallah. Now I would like to call Hamad from P6 to explain Sunnah. Sabab ki barkat. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulil kareem. أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محترم أساتذة إكرام أميرة هم مكتب ساتي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته آج جس موضوع پر میں لب کشائی کروں گا وہ ہے رمضان قریب میں سواب کی برکت رمضان کا مہینہ آ گیا ہے اس مہینے میں اللہ تعالی تمام مسلمانوں پر اپنی رحمت نازل فرماتے ہیں رمضان البارک اسلامی سال کا نوع مہینہ ہے بے شک بد نصیب ہیں وہ لوگ جو اس مہینے میں بھی اللہ تعالیٰ کی رحمت سے محروم رہ جاتے ہیں حضرت سلمان فارسی کی روایت ہے کہ شعبان کے خطبے میں نبی اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے فرمایا رمضان قریب میں ایک رات ہے جو ہزار مہینوں سے بہتر ہے اللہ تعالیٰ نے اس مہینہ اس مہینے کو بہت بار برکت بنایا ہے جو اس مہینے میں نفلی عبادت کرے وہ ایسا جیسے وہ رمضان کی علاوہ دنوں میں فرض ادا کرے اور جو اس مہینے میں فرض ادا کرے وہ ایسے ایسے وہ ستر فرض ادا کرے یہ مہینہ صبر کا ہے اور صبر کا بدلہ جنت ہے یہ مہینہ لوگ کے ساتھ لوگ کے ساتھ غمخوری کا ہے اللہ تعالیٰ فرماتے ہیں اے ایمان والو تم پر روزے میں نے فرض کیے ہیں جیسے تم سے پہلے فرض کیے گئے تھے نہ کہ تم پرہزگار بن جاؤ رمضان بارہ کی یہ خصوصیت یہ بھی ہے کہ اس میں اس مبارکت مہینے میں جنہ کے دروازے کھول دی جاتے ہیں اور جہنم کی دروازے بند کر دی جاتے ہیں اور شہدار مردود کو قید کر دی جاتے ہیں شکریہ You very well explained Hamad. As Hamad told you, Ramzan is the blessed month filled with spiritual significance and blessing. It stands to reflect 
forgiveness and strengthen our connection with Allah. May this Ramadan brings you prosperity and countless mercies and blessings. Now for the proceed, I would like to call my fellow teacher Saba for telling story and the topic is the kindness of Hazrat Abu Bakr with the cute participants. Let me call them Rav Abdul Rahman from Ali's 1, Saba Shah from Ali's 2, Shamir Danish from Ali's and Alia Asif. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Why is Sabah? Now you may start. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you all? Fine. Okay, now today I will tell you the story of the kindness of Hazrat Abu Bakr. Okay, once upon a time in the city of Makkah, that man uh, the man lived there, the name was Hazrat Abu Bakr. And he is a close friend of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Hazrat Abu Bakr was known as for his kindness and compassion. Okay. One day Hazrat Abu Bakr was walking, walking through the busy market and he saw a poor old lady who was struggling to carry a heavy load of grocery bags. This is the marketplace, you can see, this is the marketplace. Can you hold it? Thank you. Okay, her face was tired and her hands were shaking under the weight of heavy bags. Without any hesitation, has the Abu Bakr rushed to her. These are the heavy bags. You can look at this. These are the heavy bags. Okay, this is the bag. Can you hold that? Thank you. He greeted with a warm smile and said, Peace be upon you. Dear sister, let me help you with these heavy bags. And so the Bubaka took some bags from her and from her hands and carried with a cheerful heart. <coughs> As we walked together, Mr. Bubaka learned that the, the, the learned our old lady was a widow and she lived alone. And she had no family to support her. And life is now difficult for her. And as a double worker, we very sad for her. In need of just helping, helping her with a grocery bag, as a double worker decided to make a positive change in her life. But about her needs and discovered her house, that her house was leaked. The roof leaked, the, uh, the roof was leaked, and the door were cracked. Look, this is the house. The, door, uh, the roof was leaked and, uh, and the walls are cracked. The Abu Bakr with a big heart immediately take a responsibility to fix her house and get skilled workers to provide all necessary material and start working timely. The old lady who house was transformed into a comfortable and secure <coughs> house. And the old lady saw the changes in, uh, and tear with her face, uh, filled with her eyes. And she thanks to Hazrat Abu Bakr and Hazrat Abu Bakr in the humility and the kindness. This is the house where Hazrat Abu Bakr takes his house. Shall we tell you for that? Thank you. Okay. When the old lady saw the changes, Hazrat Abu Bakr teaches us an uh, example of, uh, of Islam. And we have to follow that, okay? And uh, uh, Teaching of uh, story teaches the importance of kindness and going the extra meal of help in feet. As in the Bhubaka is reflect the reflection, the true spirit of Islam and a beautiful character of prophets and the companions. Jazakalaka. Now I will ask some questions from you all, okay? Can I give me the answers? Okay. Abdul Rahman, who had the old lady? <coughs> Mashallah, very nice. Okay, now tell me, uh, who is Abu Bakr? Hazrat Abu Bakr is close friend of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And which city Hazrat Abu Bakr saw the old lady? In Makkah. Very good. And why Hazrat Abu Bakr feel sad for her lady? Because she is very good and she is Very good. Now, Manu, can you tell me the moral of the story? He should help others and talk and speak. Thank you all the participants. You did so well. Alhamdulillah. Now move forward to the next step. 
you may go now if you want. We are done with the all participants. Now it's time for brain, brain's brain waves session. So let's start this session from Abdullah Darwish. Are you ready, Abdullah? Yes. Okay. I have uh, I have the timer in my laptop. I will start from one minute session. You have to answer ten questions. If you don't know the answer, you can pass the round. Okay. So let's start. Under the which it starts. Under which caliphate was the Muslim army led Khalid bin Walid victorious in the Battle of Qutsia against the Sunset Empire? Very nice. Who was the caliph when the Muslims launched the conquest of Egypt? Very good. During Umar Caliphate, Muslim did gain control of Damascus. Very nice. Which caliph is known as for establishing the system of Dawa and managed the states of finance? Very nice. Who was the caliph when the Muslims conquered Persia? Hazrat Umar. Very nice. Which caliphate was the initiated with Uthman ibn Affan? Very nice. Who was the caliph during the Battle of Sifin against Mawiyah Abul Sufyan? Under whose caliphate did the Muslims conquer Cyprus and Uthman? Very nice. Which caliphate saw the establishment of the city of Kufa as the Persian city? And the last question is, who was the caliph when the Muslims conquered Jerusalem? <laughs> Only you, you done nine questions. Okay, very well done job. Now, Anamta, are you ready? Did the Muslim armies convert Armenia and Azerbaijan? Hazrat Usman. Very nice. Who was the caliph when the Muslims began their conquest of North Africa? Hazrat Usman. Very nice. Which caliph had saw the beginning of the Muslim expansion into the Central Asia? Hazrat Usman. Very nice. Who was the caliph when the Muslim faced internal strife leading of the Battle of the Camel? Hazrat Ali. Very nice. Under the whose caliph did the Muslims convert the island of Sicily? Hazrat Usman. Very good job. Who? Uh, which caliph saw the Muslims convert the Hasidim? Spain. Hazrat Usman. Very nice. Who was the caliph when the Muslims armies entered into the same beginning, the conquest of the India subcontinent? Hazrat Usman. Very nice. During whose caliphate did the Muslims navy establish control over the Mediterranean Sea? Usman Abu Bakr. Hazrat Usman. Very nice. Who was the caliph when the Muslim faced Bajani army in the Battle of Yemuk? Time is over. You also done nine questions. Very well done. Now, now Shafi, are you ready? Yes. Okay, good. If you don't know the answer, you can pass it around. Okay? So, let's start. Which caliphate saw the Muslim caliphate in Haskia, Spain? Um, Very nice. During whose caliphate did the Muslim navy establish control over the Mediterranean Sea? Very nice. Who was the caliph when the Muslim faced the Byzantine army in the Battle of Yermuk? Hazrat Umar. Under whose caliph did the Muslims capture the strategic city of Ustad? Umar or Uthman? Hazrat Uthman. Umar. Which caliph saw the Muslim expansion in the Indian Ocean and quit quit of island like Sukhalpa? Abu Bakr or Umar? Umar. Who was the caliph? When the Muslims can build the city of Basra and Kufa. Very nice. During whose caliphate did the Muslim face the battle of Sipin against the face? You can answer me. You can see me an answer. Okay. So you only um, attend four questions. It's okay, Shafi. Well done. So, Alhamdulillah, all participants did very well. So, now it's time to announce the winners of the Kelly Club. So, now the transmission is going to be end and I would like to call all learners one by one for the certificate distribution. So, let's start from Manur Akhev, P2. Hamda Mustafa. 
Thank you so much, Jazakallah. Salam. 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 Sal